Inhale up, hands overhead. Interlace your fingers, pressing up, looking up. Just take and relax your head, let your neck hang back. Chin is going up to the ceiling. And release, strike, drop your right hand over and shift your body gently over to the right, creating length on the left. Let's look to the left armpit and to the right hand. Look to the left armpit, to the right hand. And now opening your body, left shoulder goes back a little bit. And now sternum comes down as I look down at the hand, getting some rotation in that thoracic. I'm looking up, left shoulder goes back, looking down at the right hand, chest comes towards floor, should feel good in the center of the back, looking up past the left and down. And release, just take that left hand over to the right, two deep breath, inhale, Hands to her center, left hand down, right hand over, looking up, bending over to the left as we stretch through the right side of the body. Looking at the right armpit, down at the right, at the left hand. Looking at the right armpit, down at the hand. Maybe we're really getting some release in our neck, right armpit, down at the left hand. Think about pulling your shoulders away from your ears, right armpit, down at the left hand. Now take, look at the right armpit, pull that right shoulder back, so we're leaning back, looking back, and now turning down, sternum down, getting some rotation through that upper thoracic. Twist, look back, pull that right shoulder back, and sternum down, looking past that left hand as if we were going to thread a needle, but we're just working on that mid-back right now. Looking back, opening, and closing down. Another twist up and open, right shoulder back, away from the ear, and gently looking down. Let's just take and interlace our hands behind us, stretching open the chest, look up, drop your head, just release it, pushing your chin up, pulling your shoulders down, chin up, shoulders down, release, let's just take and do a pin. Take your hands, chin to chest, and we're just going to hold on to this skin, to this fascia, and then look up, push our, our chin up, maybe even push those teeth and jaw forward. Like you're stretching taffy. Release, I'm gonna pin on one side, I'm gonna first tuck over to the side, then look up, stretching that right side, just past the collarbone. And release, and the other side. Pin on the left, and look up. Release, do a couple rollbacks. Roll those shoulders, thumbs are, palms are up, thumbs are out. External rotation, rolling them back. And just let them drop, shrug, 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 shrug. All right, so let's get some legs involved here. Get my water a little closer. All right, let's put our left knee over the ball. Left knee is over the ball. And let's start, um, we'll start in this uh, runner's lunge, supported lunge, runner's lunge. So we're gonna stretch the right, um, the back, the hamstring, the back of the right, by doing a little pointing and flexing, a little bit of neuroflossing, a little bit of pointing and flexing here. 
Waking up that right leg. And now just rock forward. Our hands can help balance. And back, and then pull the toes back. Forward. Pull the toes. Getting a little bit of movement. We're starting to open up this left hip. Okay, we're opening up the left hip while we're stretching the right hamstring. Come back, pull the toes back, rock it forward. Okay, come back, pull the toes back, right foot, toes back, rock it forward. Let's take a pause this time. Push these hips down, okay? Right hand comes down, left hand up, and then inhale. Exhale down, left hand comes down to support, right hand up, inhale, right hand down. Now go back to your rocking, pull the toe back, rock it forward, pull the toe back, rock it forward, one more time, pull the toe back, rocking it forward, sit up, left hand up, inhale, Maybe take a lean, take it down, right hand up, maybe take a lean, calm down. This time, take your right foot out to the edge of your mat. Take it out a little closer to the edge of your mat. You can bring your hands on the inside and stretch this hip away. So this hip is being stretched away. Stretching that hip away. Getting that right hip more open, stretching that left hip flexor. So we have external rotation and a hip flexor. Let's see if you can rotate that back foot. Rotating that back foot. And one more thing here, if you can pick up on this, this, this side, you just open this up, reaching back towards your foot, opening this body. Get a nice stretch through that left hip flexor. Opening up. And release. Let's come back towards our ball, stepping that right foot in a little bit, and just pushing out with this left side. Pushing out with this left hip flexor. Coming back. Pushing out. Okay, now we're going to get some pelvic rotation in here. Tuck the pelvis, which brings your rib and hip closer, and then push forward as we're squeezing the glute. Release, tuck, squeeze, and push forward. Release, tuck, squeeze the left glute, and bring it forward. We're in this forward position, now push into the ball. Foot into the ball, foot. How are our transverse abdominals? Got a little bit of engagement going there. Grab a couple blueberries, save them for your snack for later. Boom, 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 boom. Feel that nice stretch in that quad. This should feel really good. Release, drop down to your hands, drop the right knee down, and let's just send that long inner thigh. Long left inner thigh. So these different movements we're getting, rather than just, you know, stretching one little area, we're stretching the right and the left, and we throw in the side body, and that's where we get those fascia planes and we get a little bit better of a, a systemic, um, you know, desensitization. And now if you want, you can bring it into the shorter, maybe coming forward and backward, forward and backward, forward and backward. If you feel like I feel a little catch right here in my left, so I'm just going to tilt it up and down. And if, you know, so what I would encourage you to do here is do what feels good. So if I'm feeling a little catch here, you know, I just want to keep moving and encouraging, you know, those fibers to separate. You don't exactly have to look like me here. 
just keep moving those around. You know, you can do your little air humps where you do the anterior, posterior tilt. And let's do some activation. Give a, a few pumps into the ball. And we're gonna send that out long again. Send it out long. I'm coming down on my left. I'm gonna come down, put my weight in the middle, down on my elbows, putting my forehead down. And I'm gonna rotate that ankle one direction, twice, and then the other. Bring that back in. Come up, and we're going to do something similar on the other side. So grab a drink if you need it. So this time, my right knee is just going to come over the ball. So my right quad will be getting work done. My left, um, left foot is coming out in the front. I'm in this runner's lunge, and I'm gonna start by working the left, um, back of the left leg, and I'm just going to do some pointing and flexing, a little bit of pointing and flexing here, and then I'll start a little more movement. Pointing and flexing. Now I'm going to come up, stretch into this right hip, right hip flexor, pushing down and forward, and then come back, pull the toe back. So rock forward, pop that hip, release it, get that stretch, pop back, get the hamstring on the other foot. Let's do it like, do two like forward, backward. Um, Extension on when you come back, you can do however many you want, but just get a little neural flossing there. Pop it forward, come back, pull the toes back, and we go forward, backward. Coming forward, shoulders are open, drop it back. My left side is a little stickier than my right, my left hamstring. Pop it forward, drop that hip, come back, pull the feet back. Give it a couple of pumps. This time when we drop it forward, my body's gonna raise up. I'm gonna put my hand on my left to support me. Right arm comes up with an inhale. Right arm down, left arm up. Left arm down, dropping it back. Pull the toes back, bring it forward. Right arm up, inhale. Right arm down, left arm up, left arm down. Now take the left hand inside of that left foot, walk that left foot out a little bit, get that hip into external rotation, maybe even coming up on the side of your foot, and just calm down. This is if you're in yoga, it's kind of a lizard stretch. Push that left hip out and away, right hip flexor coming forward, Left hip, we're working the back of it, external rotation. Maybe you can get a little rotation in your back ankle. And just come back, give it a release, pull the toes back, dive back into it. Release, pull the toes back, dive back in. Support yourself on your left hand as a balance. Just come up, look back towards that foot, really get that open here. Breathing. Release. Bring that left foot back in a little bit. Come on up. You can come back towards your ball, and we'll just start working more on this quad. Coming backward and forward. Rocking out that quad. Don't forget, you all look good, but if you ever need, you know, a chair, a wall, 
whatever you need to make this work the best for you. Okay, and now we're going to drop that hip, tuck the tailbone, coming forward, squeezing the glute. Release, come back, tuck the tailbone, push it through. Release, come back, tuck the tailbone, push it through, squeezing the glute. Release, tuck the tailbone, coming through. And now I'm going to activate and kick into the ball. And release. I'm going to come down, drop on the left knee as I send my right leg long. Putting weight back on my left. And whatever kind of stretch me feel good here. Oh, this feels so good. How's everyone doing? Good, good? Yeah. Yep, yep. Everybody looks good. The technology gods are with me today. <laughs> Rotate. <laughs> Yeah, right? Rotate that ankle. Couple one direction and the other. Well, they had said that Friday they should, the town should be upgraded to work better, so hopefully it does. And now I'm going to draw it in, bending the knee. And here again, I encourage you to do anything that feels good. Maybe it's just twisting back and forth, you know, act like a beached whale, just flop around here, do anything that feels good. This feels really good, just stretching out, pushing that hip down. Um, you know, you're going to feel different on what, everybody's hips are imbalanced. There's no such thing as like balanced hips. They just, you just have imbalances. And so one side is going to kind of pinch in a different area than the other. So we don't have to do the exact same stretch on one side as we do the other because it's going to feel different. So I maybe throw in a few of the pelvic thrust, interior, posterior, you can like, you know, do these all day long. The more movement you have in this pelvis, the better we are. We don't want it getting stiff. Maybe even extend that long. And, and then I like to just kind of wake it up by pushing into the ball. And maybe even come back a little bit. Come in the middle. Feels really good. And release. Come off the ball. And let's just do a couple of rolling child poses. Taking an inhale, maybe start with your hands out wide if you have any shoulder issues. Pushing the ball away, dropping my head, coming up, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Inhaling at the top, and exhaling as we push away. As we exhale, our tummy gets a little tight at the bottom, lifts the pelvic floor. Rolling up, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale at the top. Exhale, taking it out. Chin to the chest. Let's take our right hand on the ball. Just take your right hand out. Left hand up. Palm facing forward. Bring the palm forward, left hand on the ball, extend the left hand, right hand, thumb up, right hand forward, how's your hips? Did you keep your hips still? Okay, let's um, tighten up the core, our transverse abdominals, so everybody do a, okay, all right, plant your hips on your, your glutes.
glutes on your heels. Send the right forward, left thumb up, and just open up, twist that spine, and try to keep those hips still. Core is engaged. Come to center, left hand on the ball, push it forward. And so this is like our opening of the book for our thoracic. We're doing it in a seated position. It's always good to do different positions. Right hand up and then open up that thoracic spine. So if you can look all the way back, pull the right hip forward a little, release. When I say pull the right hip forward, it's just a cue so you're not opening the bottom of your body. So send the right hand a little forward, left hand out, thumb up, open, look all the way to the back wall, all the way to the back wall, and then kind of pull that left hip forward to encourage that twist, release, left hand on the ball, send the left hand forward, right thumb up, opening that thoracic, hips are steel, Kind of think of pulling the right hip forward, left hip back, looking back, all the way back. Release, and take your thumb up towards the sky and swim it back. Right thumb up, swimming it back. Left thumb up, swim it back. Right thumb up, swim back. Doing the back stroke, left thumb up, swim it back. How's your arm? Get your arm straight, strong fingers together, thumb up, getting an external rotation, up and back, up and back, up and back. Flip your ball up, bring your right elbow on the ball, stretching out that um, behind your your um, top of your arm, your tricep. And if you can move the ball a little bit, you'll feel it more down in your lats. Now take and bend and extend at the elbow. So pat yourself on the back, and then the arm straight. Pat yourself on the back, arm straight. Pat yourself, arm straight. Keep going, flexion and extension, flexion and extension. And now just reach out, take your ball out towards the side and stretch coming forward. So my ball is kind of out at the diagonal. All the way away from me, reach and stretch. And feel it all the way through. And release, other side, elbow up, stretching our tricep down to the back of our shoulder, into our lats. Get some movement here, maybe even looking under your armpit, one direction or the other. It's a nice release. Maybe circling the ball. And then get some active movement in that arm. Bring it in and out and in and out. Flex and extend. Pat yourself on the back. Straighten your arm out. And then just take, bring your ball out a little further to the side, arm straight, and push all the way through. And release. Let's do a thread the needle, palm up, right hand out, left hand on the ball, looking back. And maybe the right hand grabs the left hand and gives it a little rotation, a little help. Getting that thoracic rotation. Release, other side. Bring palm up, left out. Coming across. 
maybe grabbing, having a, an extra twist here. So let's do a little bit of activation for our back here. So I'm going to come on my ball. I'm just going to bring my forehead down. Bring my hands, um, palms. Let's put palms, um, palms down. Go palms down. Okay. You can bring your feet. They can be like mat with the part to help you stabilize. And I'm going to bring my forehead off the mat, and so this is going to activate my low back, and I'm going to bring my shoulders away from my ears, and then I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades to, towards my back, and then do a blow to engage that transverse abdominals, and then lift your palms or your hands away from the ball, just squeezing the shoulder blades, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, Release, squeeze, release. I'm looking straight down. Spine is in neutral. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. And place your palms on the floor and just roll back, taking your ball with you. Rolling over the ball, taking an inhale and an exhale, taking a break. And coming back out, rolling back on my ball. Ball is just under my, my abdominal section. My spine is neutral. So I'm using some back muscles here. I'm going to take my arm out like airplane wings, but my thumbs are going to be up. I'm going to drop my ears away from my shoulder and then squeeze my shoulder blades together as my thumbs come up. And down an inch and up and down, up, and down, squeeze the shoulder blades, and down, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. And again, arms come straight, wrap your body around your ball, looking left, and then looking right, And looking left, put your right ear on the ball. And looking right, left ear on the ball. All right, roll back out on your ball. Ball is just, just under like your navel, or your hips, wherever it's comfortable. My gaze is neutral. I mean, I'm engaging my transverse abdominals, bringing my arms out in a Y, thumbs are up. Shoulders are away from my ears, and I'm going to squeeze my scapula together. Release, up, release, up, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, 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 and squeeze. Two more. And release, roll back on the ball. Release your neck, right ear on the ball. Change, put the left ear on the ball. Change, right ear on the ball. And left. And release. All right, let's take a little lie down. Get another drink. on the ball. Let's just 
towards you and open your legs up. Just take and place our hands on our abdominal section. Do a slight tuck of the chin. And let's get this core um, engaged again. So inhale, feel your belly rise. Put your lips together, slight space, blow out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And bring your knees up. Inhale. Exhale, engage the core, do a blow. And as you blow out, lift that pelvic floor. Blow and grab a blueberry. Release. Again, inhale. Blow and grab. Put your thumb on your ribs and your pinky on your hip bone. And as you inhale, think about instead of your ribs just flaring open, about creating space between your hips like an elevator. Your hips are going one direction and your ribs coming up. That's the diaphragm creating space there. And then as you exhale, they're coming closer together. The tummy is going down and you're bringing the pelvic floor up as you grab a blueberry, okay? So visualize again, inhale, belly's rising, ribs are coming up closer, creating space, exhale, turn on the transverse abdominals as you exhale, pull the pelvic floor up, grab a hold of some stuff, you know, drink your smoothie, inhale, ribs come up, Come up towards my shoulders, creating space. Exhale, turn on the transverse abdominals, grab the blueberry. All right, so now that we have that on and we have that feeling, keep that breath and see if we can bring the arms up. Reach your fingertips up for the sky. So inhale again, right arm back. Ribs and hips are coming apart. Right arm up as you blow. Feeling the transverse abdominals and pelvic floor up. Left arm back. Creating space. And blow. Right arm back. Exhale. Inhale, left arm back. Exhale. So this is how we turn on this transverse abdominal pelvic floor section, okay? You can use it for everything. You just get used to that breath. If you breathe in, ribs and hips are coming a little bit apart and it's not by your rib flare, it's by the diaphragm. And you exhale, they're coming together. You're lifting the pelvic floor. Everything's tightening up here. Other arm, back, inhaling. All right, see if we can do a couple with our, with our knees coming up, doing a slow march, okay? So your hands can be up or you can keep them down and you can feel this, okay? So inhaling, right leg up, exhale down, inhale, left leg up, exhale down, right leg up, exhale down, Left leg up, exhale down, right leg up, exhale down, left leg up, exhale down. Send that left leg long, right knee in, give it a pull, pulling it out away from your rib cage and up towards your right shoulder, sending that left leg away, rotating that left foot. And now switch. 
Left leg up, right leg long, rotating the right foot. Coming out and around that left side of the rib cage. And switch, left leg long, right knee up. Let's rotate the right foot. And the other direction. And now rotate the left ankle. And the other direction. Switch, left knee up, right leg straight. Rotate the left ankle. One direction and then the other. And then rotate the right ankle in one direction and the other. And bring the right leg in and up and do a couple of point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. And now take the left leg across your body as your right arm comes out, looking to the right, Left palm might come up. Little twist. This is a little spinal twist. Twisting through our hips. And bringing it, right leg crosses over the left, reaching down, pulling in, maybe pushing the right knee away from you. Gently rocking back and forth. And now switch, left leg long, right leg comes up, and do a little bit of a point and flex on the locked knee. And left leg comes across, left arm comes out like a T. I'm going to use my right hand to kind of help guide it down. And release. Let's get some synovial fluid going. Let's bring the ball in. Open the legs wide. And push it away. Bring the ball in. Open the legs wide. Push it away. Bring it in. Open the legs wide. Feel free to use your hands if you want. Push it away. Coming in. Open, push it away, bring it in, open, push it away, in, open, push it away, in, open, and push it away. Reverse it, drawing the ball in with our legs open, squeeze them together, push it away. Drawing the ball in with our legs open, together, pushing it away, open, together, extend, open, together, and extend. Now let's take and just drop your feet to the floor, slightly wider than the mat, and curl your pelvis away from the floor, bringing it up into a bridge, squeezing the glutes, and now squeeze your knees together, and release, squeeze the knees together, pulling the thighs together, release, bring the thighs together, release, thighs together, release, thighs together, release, together, release, and roll back down one vertebrae at a time. And roll it all the way up into the bridge. And pulse, release, squeeze together, release. If your feet are slightly, you know, if they're hip width apart, you'll be able to really feel this work in those inner thighs. Together, release, together, release. Roll it back down. Take an inhale. 
Exhale. Transverse abdominals engaged, pelvic floor lifted. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. And knees together. Release. Try to keep your hip height the same as you bring your knees together. And release. Together. Release. Together. Release. Together. Release. Roll them back down one vertebrae at a time. Take an inhale, bring your arms overhead, all the way overhead. Do a slight tuck of the chin. Roll the pelvis, bringing it up. And squeeze together. Pulsing. First, I just like to let gravity kind of melt, having some stillness. And then I like dropping a little bit lower here so my hips can stay stacked. And this just really feels good to draw that leg forward and then stretching it back, keeping those hips stacked. See how much length I can create all the way through. Bringing it forward for the release, drawing it back. Maybe I want to get a little bit of movement back there, a little internal, external rotation. Release, come up, and do our little twist. Right knee forward. If your left foot does can't wrap around, it's okay right here. Okay? So if you can, just bring that in. Left, um, left elbow inside the left knee and give it a twist. Release, just come forward and lean forward. If you want to move your ball over outside this left knee, you can support it. Bring the ball all the way back to your left hip, right elbow, left knee, give it a little twist. Release, bringing your left foot down, put the ball under your left hip, coming up and over, arms are long, you want gravity to take hold here, melting through that side. One side is um, harder to move. And 
And finding a position and a stretch that feels good to you. My foot is drawn in back and I'm doing a little internal external rotation. Feels good today. And when you're ready, gently coming off the ball. Let's do a little bit of a couple of twisting here. Bringing the right foot up. Maybe it's close to the left knee, maybe it's wrapped around. And just twisting one direction. And then bringing my ball to the side of my right knee, maybe crossing over. This just helps support it, and then you're stretching through those right glutes. You rest your body. And coming all the way around, walking that elbow, sitting up straight, and twisting. And release. Let's come up. Let's do a couple of our arm stretches while we're on our feet. So put your feet together. Come up. We can just do these out front today so we can stretch our, our feet at the same time. So this just, when we don't use our ball or the floor, it's just a little bit less. So bring that arm straight, pulling the hand back. So if it ever hurts you to put your weight into the ball, this is definitely another option. If your thumb is not included in the stretch, rotate it. So my right arm is straight, pulling back stretching all the way through that forearm, release, give it a shake, other side, left hand out, thumb is going to do some movement, release, give it a shake, and other direction. Arm is straight, bringing the palm back closer to your forearm. And if you can, if you can bend your hand back and then just move your fingers. And release, go to the other side. Can you still see me? Carrie, Mary. We're back. Hello. Oh. I know. I don't know why. We're we're just a, Yeah, I saw on the computer that it locked up and I have no idea why, but anyway. God, we got like two minutes left. <laughs> All right, so did we stretch the other hand? Yep. Okay, just in case we lose you, do a couple roll back, roll back, roll back. And we're just going to close out our class. We're going to do a couple of roll backs. chest. We're ready to receive and give love. It all starts with yourself. Self-love. If you don't fill up your own love basket or love cup, you don't have as much love to give. And wherever you feel rested, if you want to open up your arms, maybe doing a little leaning left and right. And when you're ready, you can come to a comfortable position. Maybe your legs are straight, maybe they're bent. However you are comfortable, maybe they're out to the side. 
Just come to a resting position. And just kind of take a scan of your body. And be aware of all the good inside and all the good in your body. Not focusing on limitations, but everything that you can do. Everything's relaxed. Remember, you are enough every day. And the words that follow I am follow you. So we always want to choose them wisely. And maybe it's not what you are, but what you want to be. So go ahead and say to yourself, I am accountable, I am successful, I am patient. Maybe you're not, but maybe you want to be, so we're going to manifest it. I am patient, I am kind, I am loving, I am resourceful, I am amazing. And let's just put our hands to our heart. I am amazing. I love me. If you're looking in the mirror, say, I love you. And my heart is full of love and kindness. Take an inhale. Open up and let it out. Another deep breath in. Open up and exhale. And deep breath in. And exhale. And bring your arms overhead. Take another roll back. Rolling forward and to the side. Come off your ball. Great job today. Nice job, everyone. All right, namaste. Mm -hmm.